Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Knight Tales. Before we dive in, please show your support, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. So let's get started. The first story. Haunted House in Ireland. Hi guys, so basically this is a story about a house I lived in a year ago near my IT campus in the west of Ireland which I believe was haunted. To begin. Before living there I was always pretty skeptical of haunted houses and for good reason, as a teenager we would often visit haunted houses in our locality which never really proved to be so, at least while we were present there. A few days after moving into our new college house for our final year of college me and my friends went out to do shopping and get food, upon arriving back we noticed someone had left the oven on, we each denied it but we knew someone had to have left it on. Looking back this was probably the first unexplained incident as thinking about it, nobody even had food to put in the oven. Over the following few weeks we started to notice odd things happening, creaks, groans and movements from the side of our eyes. At this point two of the housemates were convinced of a haunting, however myself and another were still not convinced. It was soon only me that was left unconvinced as one day while the other non-believer was home doing study they looked up to see a face peering at them before vanishing. It finally clicked for me when I woke up one night just before Christmas to see a very large man, or what I believe to be a man staring at me from my wardrobe. There was one night in particular which really scared me. I always locked my door before going to bed and distinctly remember doing this that night. When I awoke in the night I could see the large man again this time at the end of my bed. I shut my eyes telling myself it was a dream and went back to sleep. The next morning my door was wide open. So were all the doors in my wardrobe and the guys had told me it sounded like I was dragging my school bag from one end of the room to the other all night. Anyways hope you found this interesting, we all got out of the house unscathed but it really made believers of all of us. The second story. Skeptical of ghosts but I just moved into a haunted house. Okay so I'm a long time skeptic. I've watched all the investigation shows and would love to believe but I've lived in a dozen or more different houses and I'm well aware of the various sounds and noises that they produce and have never had a ghost encounter or any paranormal experience whatsoever until now. I just, two days, moved into an old house in a small mountain town. My house was built in the 40s and is mostly original. Ever since I've moved here. My wife and I have regularly heard voices, we have several times heard a baby crying in our living room. Also loud voices as if people are having a loud discussions in our basement. We've spent the last two nights trying to debunk these sounds. We have no neighbors, no wildlife nearby and basically zero foot traffic. We aren't hearing people from outside the house. I've eliminated the washer slash dryer, the furnace and the hot water tank as possible sources. The third story. Something is knocking on windows. Some background on the first incident, my dad, 55 meters, and I, 23F, went on a trip across country to move me to a new state. One of the stops on the way would be my dad's uncle's, 73 meters, we will call him Mark, cabin. The cabin is situated in rural Illinois, about 55 minutes from the nearest town. There is no street markings whatsoever and the nearest neighbor is a good 6 miles away. Mark is a farmer by trade, so his cabin is surrounded at least 200 acres of farmland right in the middle of the Shawnee National Forest. On two sides of the cabin there is woodland so thick you couldn't walk throughout, and on the other two sides there are fields of crops. Now the cabin itself is three stories, the basement just houses a small garage and laundry room. The middle floor is the largest, having Mark's bedroom the kitchen, the living slash dining room, and a bathroom. The top floor is just a landing, and two bedrooms that connect through a shared bathroom. My dad and I each got one of the bedrooms. The middle floor has a raised deck on three sides that are full of windows and has a massive sliding glass door. And you guessed it, when it is nighttime out there there is absolutely nothing to subset the darkness. You can't see a single thing out of the windows no matter how hard you try. Now, let's move on to the creepy part. The first night we stayed there I was sitting on my dad's bed chatting. He had his window open to ventilate the room and you could hear lots of movement from outside on the ground level. Of course we couldn't see anything, we could only hear trees swaying, 
branches and dry grass crunching by something walking on it. Don't worry, we assumed it was deer as there are many in the area and went to bed without any issues. The next day comes and goes after my dad and I spend it exploring the area on a UAV. The next night after Mark goes to bed, my dad and I were sitting in the living room watching an old movie on the TV. This was around 9 p.m. and I remember getting this distinctly anxious feeling while sitting there with my dad. I routinely looked through some of the windows that were surrounding it but as you guessed, I could see nothing but black. Around 10.30 my dad and I go to our appointed bedrooms and he quickly falls asleep. I messed around on my phone till around 1.30. At this point I shut my door to the point where only a sliver of light is getting into my room and I could barely see out into the dim landing. I plug my phone into the charger and hop into bed ready to go to sleep. Around 20 to 30 minutes goes by of me trying to fall asleep and that is when I hear it, clear as day, there is a loud and forceful knock on one of the windows. Three distinct knocks. I shoot up in bed and just sit there for a few seconds, listening and looking out through the small crack in the door. I get up and am hit with this overwhelming feeling that I should not open my door and go out. So I end up going through the shared bathroom and into my dad's room. I wake the poor guy up from a dead sleep and tell him that I heard someone knock on either the glass doors or the windows. My dad gets up and I follow him downstairs and he checks the entire house before locking both of the doors that my uncle always leaves open. After turning on the porch light and checking the house, we found nothing and go back up to our rooms. I am extremely unsettled but could tell my dad was assuming I had just freaked myself out. The next morning comes around. I go downstairs where my dad is sitting at the table with Mark. Apparently the two had been discussing what I had heard last night, that is when my dad tells me that Mark had heard the same knocking at the same time of night on three separate occasions. The first time he heard the knocking he immediately jumped up from bed and grabbed the shotgun he keeps in his closet. He knew there would be no one or no thing good knocking at his door in the middle of nowhere at 2 AM, he saw nothing when he looked outside and when the knocking came twice more. He didn't bother checking it. Now Mark is a 73 year old tough cowboy that is straight up, fearless, and doesn't find any enjoyment in lying. We left the same day to continue our journey across the states. The second event occurred just last week. My dad was visiting my mom and I in our two bedroom house before he flew out of the city's airport the next day. Due to him being there, I spent the night on an air mattress on the floor of my mom's bedroom while he slept in my bed. My mom's bedroom is in the back of the house, with a small backyard and then a sloped six-foot wall leading up into the desert being all there was. Around 5 am I am jolted away but this extremely loud knock on my mom's bedroom window. I sit up and just stared at the curtain-covered window. My mom had already been awake, early riser, and had her earphones in watching something. She yanked them out and asked me if I had heard it as well. The two of us just sit in silence. She tells me that if she opens the curtains she just knows that something is going to be staring back at her. I go and wake up my dad, poor dad, and tell him the two of us heard someone at my mom's window. He goes outside and finds nothing, but reports that he heard the dogs barking off and on for a little over an hour. Strange. My mom and I heard no barking whatsoever. The sun comes and goes and nothing else happens the next night or any night since then, so, that's the end of my experiences. I just think both events, especially the first, are beyond bizarre. Both times I was overwhelmed by the negative and anxious feeling and I just have no explanation for either. I need your guys input on what you think could have happened, as it has been on my mind since it happened. Thanks. The fourth story. Something creepy happened to me last night. I want to start off by saying that there is no proof that what happened was supernatural or paranormal and I realize it can probably be explained but regardless I felt it was weird enough to share. With that said here's what happened, so last I was sitting in my basement minding my own business watching a movie and out the blue the lights turn off, now my house is older so the wiring is rather spotty so I figured that's what happened but maybe 20 seconds later I heard something step on a plastic bag that just outside my room but still within my view and I glanced over expecting to see my brother but there was no one there so I figured it must have been my cat or something. Late on after I'd finished the movie I headed upstairs and noticed the light switch was in the down position so I asked around and found out no one had been downstairs and my cats were both asleep in my mom's room. Needless to say I was a little freaked. 
I understand that this most likely has an explanation and I welcome any suggestions but please not hate, thanks. The fifth story. My old house was haunted and I think my new one is too. Every night before I go to bed I go to the kitchen to get a glass of water and put it on my nightstand in case I wake up thirsty. So one day when I was 12 to 13 years old I went to the kitchen, as I did every day but this time it was different. I have always been a believer of the paranormal but until then nothing weird had happened to me, I only had nightmares with demonic, like figures with no eyes, and I still do. But that's a completely different story and I don't really think it has anything to do with the paranormal. So that night both my parents were awake but they were ready to go to sleep so the lights in the kitchen were not on and it was really dark. As I got out of the hallway, where the bedrooms were, I turned to my right, where the kitchen was, and as soon as I entered the dark room I saw on my left a human shaped figure made by white smoke. I stood there for a solid 10 seconds, freaked out, staring at it trying to figure out whether what I was seeing was real or not. It didn't disappear but it didn't seem to get bothered by my presence. It was just staring at my father's stuff, so I ran to my parents' bedroom told them what I saw and they just said that it was my imagination and that ghosts aren't real blah 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 but I knew that what I'd seen was real. Nothing paranormal happened after that except for the, the feeling of being watched and some nightmares I had. Last year we moved out. I was 16. When we went to see our new house I said I hope this one's not haunted and I tried to laugh it off because I knew that neither of my parents believed in the paranormal. My dad though said something that made me freeze. He said you remember what you saw that night in the kitchen? I obviously said yes, how could I forget that? So he replied I've seen it too, I know he wasn't lying because as I said he doesn't believe in ghosts and he's not the type of person who makes this type of jokes. At the house we currently live in I've experienced some things and my dad has too. One day, it was 6 or 7 am, I had woken up and was trying to fall back asleep and I felt something touching my back as if it was trying to caress me, I sleep with my head under the pillow for some reason so I couldn't see who it was but I thought it was my mum, who was ready to leave for work, as she's done that before, and so I moved to let her know I felt it. I waited a few seconds for her to leave but guess what? I didn't hear any footsteps and the floor is wooden so it makes noise every time someone's walking. I told my dad and he said that it was just my imagination. This one happened 3 days ago, it was 6 pm in the afternoon and I was doing my homework on my bed. Suddenly this very bright light that had the shape of a ball passed me so fast and left me confused. It wasn't scary, it was just really weird because it went through the wall. Yesterday I was talking with my dad and he asked me what time I had fallen asleep the day before. I asked him why and he said that he heard two or three knocks on the wall at like 2 am. I told him that I wasn't awake at that time and I made a joke about the house being haunted but he said that it isn't and that only our previous one was, he was very serious when he said that. Also last week I saw that the house I currently live in was haunted in my dream and all the things in it were floating. I told my dad and he again said that only our previous house was. So there are my experiences, as I mentioned I have very bad and sometimes cruel nightmares but I've gotten used to them. I made this post because I want to share what I've experienced in these two houses with people who believe in the paranormal and maybe get some answers. Sorry for the long text. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.